Elegoo is one of the popular names in the Arduino starter kit spaces, making great value starter kits with good instruction sets to get you started tinkering with Arduinos and electronics. They sent me one of their Uno Project Super Starter Kits to try out and share with you. The kits are available through their Amazon storefronts in a number of different countries. I've put a link to the kit and their store in the video description. As expected from Amazon, the kit arrived really quickly and was well packaged and protected. The kit is packaged into a plastic storage case, which is great for keeping all your components together after you've started using them. The case is pretty tightly packed when you get it, but once you've removed the plastic packaging and foam pieces for shipping, you shouldn't have a problem getting the components back into the box again. Included with the kit is a CD, which contains a detailed tutorial guide, as well as the code or sketches, and the libraries used in the tutorials. We'll have a look at this in more detail in a bit. Let's get the kit unpacked and see what's included. You get a pretty good range of electronic components to get started with. I'm not going to list them all here, but they include a DC motor, servo and stepper motor, an LCD and 7 segment displays, an infrared receiver and remote, temperature and humidity sensors, a joystick and ultrasonic sensor, and then some smaller electronic components like buttons, buzzers and some IC chips. The Arduino you get in this kit is Elegoo's version of the Uno. It's a great starter board, compatible with a wide range of shields and accessories, and is probably one of the most widely used as well, so you shouldn't have any trouble trying out different projects and new sensors once you've worked through their tutorials. They've included both a full-size breadboard, along with a prototype expansion shield with a mini breadboard on top, so that you can build more compact projects as well. I also like that they've labelled the sides of the header pin strips with the port numbers as well. This is really useful if you've got a shield plugged in or you can't see the top of the Arduino because it's tucked into a tight case or container for a project. Some other nice inclusions are a dedicated breadboard power supply with a 5V and 3.3V regulator, an LCD display, and a stepper motor and driver. Let's get back to the included CD. As mentioned before, it contains a detailed tutorial guide as well as the code or sketches and the libraries used in the tutorials in a number of different languages. This is quite useful as a few kits I've seen leave it up to you to find the libraries they've used, which can be a problem for new users. You can also download the contents of the CD through the link on the product page or from their website. The tutorial guide starts out by explaining the Arduino IDE as well as how to connect and program your Arduino and how to install the included libraries. They also detail how to install the drivers for the board. Both my Windows PC and Mac picked up the board as an Arduino Uno right away and I didn't need to install any additional drivers. You're then guided through 24 lessons in total which show you how to connect and program the Arduino and use all of the components supplied with the kit. Once you've worked through all of these, you should have a really good understanding of how an Arduino works and you'll be able to build some pretty cool projects. The lessons are quite detailed and tell you exactly what you need and how to connect them. They also give you a bit of background information for the components and give you a photograph of what the final setup should look like. You shouldn't have any trouble getting each lesson up and running using the included components and the included sketches. The only issue I could point out with the lessons is that they don't go into much detail on how the code works. Some lessons have more details than others, and they do point out any areas which you may get stuck or need to change a specific part of the project, but you probably won't learn too much about the code if you don't already have a basic understanding of the Arduino programming language. But there is enough information to get by and enough to get you through each of the lessons. Rather than go through one of the lessons which have already been done, I've put together two basic projects which use the included components and just combine sections of the included example code to make so they're really easy to get up and running. The first is a simple throttle for the DC motor and fan, which uses one axis of the joystick to control the speed and direction of the motor using the motor driver chip. This project uses lesson 12 for the analog joystick module input and lesson 21 for the DC motor and driver. 
I've just copied sections of code from both lessons to make a really simple sketch to drive the motor. The included battery seemed a bit sluggish, so I changed over to a power supply. You push the joystick forward to drive the fan in one direction, and backwards to reverse it. The fan speed is also proportional to how far the joystick is pushed, so you can slow it down or speed it up in either direction. The next project is a bit more complex, but also uses all of the included components and lessons to build. It's a parking assistant which can be mounted onto a wall in front of your parking bay or garage and indicates when your car is in the right spot. It uses an ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance of the object, in this case your car, and then displays the distance on an LCD screen and changes the color of the RGB LED accordingly. When your car is far away the LED will be green and it progressively changes to yellow and then red when your car gets closer. A push button allows you to reset the preset parking distance so that you can update your parking position to be closer or further away. I've put a link to a guide in the description where I detail how to assemble and program this project. Let's upload the code and try it out. I then decided to change the code so that the LED flashes when the car is closer than the minimum distance. Overall, I think this is a great value kit and an excellent way to get started tinkering with Arduinos and electronics. There's a good selection of components and unlike some other starter kits, Elegoo's included loads of jumpers, resistors and LEDs for more complex projects. If you're interested in buying one of these kits, I've put a link to the kit in the video description and Elegoo have given me a discount code to share with you too. Thanks for watching, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.